Hey everyone, my name is Meera. Welcome back to my channel. The stay at home book tag has been created by Madison from the channel Princess of Paperback. A link to her original tag video will be in the description box in case you want to do this tag as well. On that note, tell me how would you describe your stay at home experience during the lockdown in the past couple of months? I would say that I have been going about with my work as usual because even before the lockdown I would stay at home quite frequently. So in that sense, this experience hasn't been all that different for me, I'm grateful to say. Okay, so let's get to the book tag. There are nine prompts in this all surrounding the theme of staying at home. First, laying in bed, a book that you could read in one sitting. For this, I picked The Girl Behind the Glass by Sumit Pramanik. This is an Indian fiction in which a newly married couple make their way to Hotel Infinity. They are being pursued by someone we don't know who that is in the beginning. So there is some mystery revolving around that. In addition to that, um, a car accident takes place near the hotel and the woman in the car goes missing. So the suspicion falls on the guests who are living at the hotel. That's basically the gist of what this book is about. I dropped the book. Okay, <laughs> almost dropped the book. But I love thrillers, suspense novels. There was a time when I was only reading that genre of books back to back. And I am even more eager to be reading this because it's Indian suspense novel. There aren't quite a lot of them that I have read which are really good. But the plot of this seems really interesting and I believe that I will be able to finish this in one sitting. Second, Snacking All Day. A guilty pleasure read. Uh, for this, I am going to say The Fear Street Books by R.L. Stein. I'm not exactly guilty of reading them, but when I was younger, I had the time of my life reading these books. Now that I think of it, I can recognize it for its mindless plots and trite concepts. But occasionally, there are still times when I fall for the craving for a good old R.L. Stein book. So yeah the fear street ones. <laughs> the third prompt is Netflix, a series I want to start. Speaking of Netflix, it's been days since I watched any TV show or movie. I don't watch movies, but yeah, it's been days since I watched a TV show. Okay, anyway, for this prompt, I picked the Parthalon series by PC Cast. I have the first four books in the series. There are a total of five books. So there's Divine by Mistake. There's Divine by Choice. And okay, I'm gonna drop all of this now. Hold on. <laughs> Divine by Blood. And the fourth book is Elfame's Choice. So these are the four books I have. I want to start on the series because um, what I've read about the first book in the series is that it's about a teacher whose name is Shannon who buys an antique object which has a Celtic goddess on it. And she magically gets transported to the world of Partholon where she is revered as the goddess incarnate of Epona. Now, this position comes with its own privileges and disadvantages as well. While this main character, this protagonist is enjoying being treated as a goddess, I think her life may be in danger because of certain beings in that world who don't like her. There's quite a bit to this book series and I have been enjoying PC Cast's writing, so I really want to get started with this series. Fourth, Deep Clean, a book that has been on your TBR for ages. I am going to choose Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I think this book has been on my shelf for about four years now, four to five years. I haven't picked it up so far, even though I'm currently in a phase where I'm reading a lot of romance fiction because uh, I heard that it's sappy and I don't like sappy books. So I don't know. A little bit apprehensive about reading it but I also want to and the one thing that's making me want to read this book is that Amelia Clark has played the main character in the movie adaptation so if you have read this book and if you have good or bad things to say about it please leave that in the comments so I can make up my mind whether to finally pick up this book or not. Next, Animal Crossing New Horizon, a book you bought because of hype. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I definitely bought this mainly because of the hype and secondly also because of the creepy atmosphere that it claims to have. I'm all for books that are creepy and haunting and spooky. Um, in this book, a 16 year old boy is sent to a mysterious island 
where he finds an orphanage in a rundown state now as he is exploring this orphanage more and more he sees certain signs which leads him to believe that the kids who live here or used to live here could have been dangerous and there's a reason why they have been quarantined believe me when i say it does have some creepy photos wait i'm going to show you one just to convince you that it's very creepy indeed look at that and that's just one of the many photos that are there in this book other than the photos also it has been formatted in a very interesting new manner so that's also something that i look forward to i just hope that the series doesn't disappoint me i won the first three books in the series through a giveaway but after having won the giveaway i started reading a lot of reviews in which people were disappointed by the books but i don't know like i'm going to pick it up sometime I keep telling myself that sixth productivity a book that had an impact on you or that you learned from for this i am going to talk about fahrenheit 451 by ray bradbury this book taught me just how much people can come to detest the truth and the extent they are willing to go to negate their weaknesses or their heritage you get to see in this book just how much of a struggle there is within people to disassociate themselves from their past it also explores concepts like knowledge human history and so on this as a dystopian fiction is something i will always recommend to people if you haven't read it please do pick it up next face time a book you've been gifted believe it or not i don't get books as gifts frequently or even generally my friends and family are of the opinion that i have enough and more books can you believe that they think i have enough and more books but for this prompt i'm going to pick this edition of northanger abbey by jane austen which i won in a giveaway so it is a gift essentially i chose this book in the giveaway because I wanted these two stories by Austin called The Watsons and Sandition and I couldn't find separate copies of these stories so this particular edition of Northanger Abbey has those two stories and I got this book so I am almost close to finishing my Jane Austen collection but yeah, I think I have one more title that I still need to get eighth self care name one thing you've done to look after yourself I have taken an active interest in cooking Now if anybody who knows me personally is watching this video they're going to laugh but seriously if someone told me like before the lockdown if someone told me they needed help with cooking I'd run the other direction but yeah I wanted to change my perspective about this and do more things for self care so I'm happy to say that during these days the last couple of months I have taken a more active approach to stepping into the kitchen and trying to cook things by myself and the last prompt is bonus name one book that is coming out soon mexican gothic by silvia moreno garcia i have been dying to get my hands on a copy of this book let me just tell you quickly what it's about it has 1950s mexico mexican countryside a protagonist who is supposedly kick ass something to do with ball gowns and lastly Nomi gets a letter from her cousin saying that she's in some kind of trouble and she needs Nomi to come and sort of help her out. It is as the name would suggest a gothic fiction set in Mexican countryside. I really want to. This is one of my most anticipated reads of 2020. If any of you have access to this book, then please let me know how I can get one soon. That's it for the stay at home book tag. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, let me know in the comments. If you're watching this video, you made it all the way till here and you want to do this tag yourself, then consider yourself tagged. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again later. Bye.